I was really scared. I'm never gonna walk there ever. Never, never. Damn, girl. She saw some shit go down. This is Google reviews gone wrong. Que lo que YouTube is your host, Barbosa. I go on Google Maps. I like to check out and scope the places that I want to go visit. I like to travel. I look up the places. I look at the parks, the beautiful birds, the pelicans. I like to see the pelicans fly. I like to see the place. I like to see the people. Let me tell you, okay? Some of the reviews that I've seen on Google for some parks in Los Angeles, eh, I'm not sure if it's Los Angeles or Juarez. Join me as I take you to the five worst parks in Los Angeles. Aquí vamos. Let's go. The first park on our list is 6th and Gladys Park. Let's see what the people got to say about 6th and Gladys Park in Los Angeles. Mike Alexander. Uh, Mike says, one of the worst parks in Los Angeles. Infested with homeless people, drugs, and alcohol. Not recommended for children. Don't bring your children there. No children in 6th in Gladys Park. Benito. MacArthur McAllister. MacArthur McAllister. I guess that's how you say that. Not a place to visit at night. Right next to Skid Row. A drug haven for the homeless. Hmm. Skid Row homeless. Okay. Thanks, MacArthur. That's a very insightful comment. Akam Islam. Akam, Akam Islam. Not really a park, just a structure of a park. Sometimes held a special event and service for homeless people. But it's great help for lots of homeless people. Oh, I love the homeless people. The homeless people love me. They love bubbles. Alfredo Herrera. This place is a crackhead heaven. I would never bring my kids. Horrible place. Horrible place. <laughs> Christine Beatty. Too nasty. Unsafe. Junkies, drug addicts everywhere. Daniel Macias. Daniel, Daniel Macias, que lo que? Lots of drug dealing and gambling going on here. Very violent individuals. Drug use is rampant in this area. Not a good place for my kids or family. Man, I come to the realization that this park is not good for my kids and my family. Victor Quiroz. This park is in Skid Row and the homes population run this area. Don't come here at night. <laughs> if you come in the day, be prepared to see some stuff you can't unsee. Damn. Yay, Luis. I won't give it one star. Park is full of homeless meth yonkies. Homeless meth yonkies in the park? No, don't tell me there's yonkies in the park. Jesus says, don't go here. <laughs> Jesus has spoken. Don't go here. No bias, I eat. Continuing our tour of the worst parks in Los Angeles is number four, Echo Park. Very famous park, very close to downtown. Let's see what the people have to say about Echo Park. Carla Cotto, wonder if she's related to Miguel. Dirty and it smells. A lot of homeless people and too many tents scattered around the park. Echo Park has lost its beauty and to have a nice picnic with the family. Oh, oh God, Echo Park has lost its beauty and I can't have a nice picnic with my family. Roger Cabezas, Roger Cabezas. Cabezas is Spanish for head, so Roger Head. He says, place that had better days. Before it was a good place to have family, reunion, old friends. Family reunion, old friends. Now is a place full of head crackers, homeless people. Head crackers, homeless people. Don't know what a head cracker is. Maybe he meant to say crackhead, head crackers. 
No against any of them. Okay, glad he has nothing against them. Etc. I lived there for many days on Liberty Street and I can tell the place had changed for bad. All for all the bad situations we are living in Los Angeles. I love the broken English. It just makes this so much better. Victor Cruz. It's very sad to say the Echo Park is now a homeless encampment. Damn, he said, fuck, this is a homeless encampment. This ain't even a park. I used to enjoy this park 35 years ago when I first arrived to the USA. I'm asking the LA government to fix the park and the homelessness. This is a big problem that needs everyone's help. I mean, that's a real. I mean, he's being real right there. Heriberto Chavez Torres says, way too many people living in tents. Lots of trash. Stinky. Not counting lots of addicts. That he definitely didn't like the way the park smelled. I mean, if you're surrounded by people that haven't had a good shower in God knows how long, it's probably going to smell like ass too. David Velasquez says, better known as Bum City. Echo Park, better known as Bum City. Represent Bum City. <laughs> Zoala Phillips, she says, lots of homeless people. I saw a fight break out. Another man was choking a man. I was really scared. I'm never gonna walk there ever. Never, never. Damn, girl. She saw some shit go down. Continuing our journey of Los Angeles, we have park number three, McGuire Gardens. Now, this is not necessarily a large park, but it's very central downtown Los Angeles next to the library. A lot of people frequent this area, so let's see what the people have to say about it. Well, they have short solid says security guards are rude. As if they only know how to talk to the ignorant. I mean, they probably deal with nothing but ignorance. It's Los Angeles. People are high and there's a lot of bums. <laughs> Alan Laflamme. Alan Laflamme. Laflamme. I like saying that. Laflamme. It's a wonderful place to smoke some dope. Hey, guys. Let's go smoke some dope. Frederica Smith says... Beautiful views of the U.S. Bank building. Selfie recommendable. A nice place to come, relax, read a book, or just enjoy silence. Unfortunately, there are times when homeless are roaming about and aren't necessarily acting their best. There's a Mendocino Farms across the street where good food and drinks are sold and also has a pretty nice patio area. You know, minus the wandering homeless people who aren't necessarily acting their best. I mean, I don't know how's a homeless person supposed to act wild. If I was homeless, I'm, I'm wildin'. I'm, ah, give me your sandwich. Maverick Tan says, it's a nice garden, but lots of homeless that can sometimes get verbally aggressive. <laughs> Last thing we want is a verbally aggressive or just an aggressive homeless man. I mean, they ain't really got much to lose. You get an aggressive homeless person coming after you, you better damn get the hell up out of there. They're like the nemesis from Resident Evil. That fucker will not stop damn coming after you. Stars. It's number two, MacArthur Park. Many remember MacArthur Park mentioned in the Training Day movie with Denzel Washington. MacArthur Park is the park. Let's see what the people have to say about Mikarta Park. Cal Pasta make me hungry. Absolute film. How could anyone leave if I start a review? You can't even walk around and around me. My best Italian. <laughs> Absolute film. How could anyone leave if I start a review? You can't even walk around me. Can't even walk around me. How you leave five star? How you bafangu? Osiris Macias. Bumville. It's a beautiful park, but yeah, pass by and you'll know what I mean. Damn, girl, say that shit. She says you'll see it from the window. You can see it from the window. Matias Caceres. Matias Caceres. He says the very first time I was at this park, it was indeed very different. Unfortunately, now is a nasty and insane place. His sad, sad face. Very nasty.
That's the insane place. Joey Wisdom. Joey Wisdom says, if you're a tourist, I understand the appeal of it, but once you get there, you're surrounded by foot traffic of homeless people begging you for money, disregarding your personal space. There's so much feces around the park and even more syringes and caps everywhere. Feces! I don't care about the I don't care if I get stung with a hypodermic needle. I don't want to see nobody's feces, shit, caca, mierdas, whatever it is, laying all over the ground. Tashina Khan says, this is the only park in Los Angeles that has so many swans, ducks, pigeons, and birds. They don't even fly away when they see human beings are approaching them. It's so beautiful. What the problem then? Too many homeless people. This park smells like pee. It was hard to breathe. <gasps> the train station across the park, the station feels scary as well. It's sad to see something so beautiful isn't welcoming for family and fireman. <laughs> it smells like pee. It was hard to breathe. <gasps> Henry Montejo says, I got robbed here and I came a week after and they were selling my phone for $20. And the 99 cent store is in the corner. They stole my phone and they sell it for $20, home. You believe that? $20, they robbed me. Why the hell are you going back to the park, Henry? You said you got robbed here and came back and they said they were selling your phone for $20. Shit, go get your phone back. Jackson Ordo says it smells like death. <laughs> yeah, this shit must be third world Tijuana style smells like death. Damn, Jackson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final park number one on my list, the park that made me want to do all of this Google reviews gone wrong and inspired my entire nation when I come to this country on a horse. I come with fruits and vegetables. I want to feed the people and now I want to do reviews on Google and on YouTube and I want to help and make people's laughs around the country. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. San Julian Park, number one on my list, San Julian Park. Los Angeles, this park is very bad. Very, very bad. Do not go here. Listen to what the people have to say about San Julian Park. Taylor Hunt says, one of my favorite places to people watch. You can find a whole range of human cruelty and kindness any day of the week in this park. And also crack. Hmm, wonderful, Taylor. I love to see human cruelty and kindness while on crack. <laughs> Looks like Michael Barnes learned a lesson while his visit to San Julian Park. Beautiful park, museum, garden, and one big space. Car window smashed. Parking along the road in the park. Please make sure there's nothing left on the seat in your car. Empty the car out. I saw four cars broken in parked on the roadside next to the botanical garden. I also found out that it's happening outside the park on the city street too. Leave knitting in your car when parked outside in California. I think he just meant San Julian Park. But yes, beautiful everything until your car window smashed. <laughs> Miss Dams, Miss Dams, Yenevive Morton. <laughs> I like this place. Nice place to pick up clients and to buy blow. Hey, pick up clients and buy blow. I wonder what kind of client she's picking up. That's what I want to know, Miss Dabs Genevieve Morton. You pick up clients and a little tutti frutti. <laughs> Michael Jones says, I charge my cell phone here. Five stars. I charged my cell phone. He might be one of the homeless people living there, Mike. He's so happy to charge his shit so he could talk to somebody and just have somebody to talk to him through his situation. So you go, Michael. You get the you get that battery charged and you get to talking. <laughs> this guy took a picture. He just looked like a damn ad on Tinder or something. Le Priest Valentine, don't go in there trying to make new friends. Either you know somebody there, or you bring your own. Be wild, wef. Bring your own friend. That's what Le Priest says. He said, bring your own friend. Don't go there looking for friends. And finally, Charles Mosley 
says, oh, ho, ho, ho. crack is bringing polio disease back. Two can tell by the crackheads that walk that it's back. A human zombie with no teeth might try to use your head like an ice cream pop and chase you. <laughs> what the fuck, man? This dude, yo, this, I gotta read it one more time. Crack is bringing polio disease back. Two can tell by the crackheads walk that it's back. A human zombie with no teeth ah, might try to use your head like an ice cream pop and chase you. Well, Charles, obviously you might have been smoking some of that crack that they were selling at the park because this really doesn't make much sense, but it's funny as shit and I had to make, put it on my video. So thank you, Charles, for your contribution. Complete the five worst park in Los Angeles. who have been warned, my friend. I told you a long time ago, but now you know from your boy, Barbosa. You enjoyed please like and subscribe by clicking below this has been google reviews go wrong and you have a good day i'll see you next time <laughs>